Hey guys, Jordy here with a different kind of video today, but still uh, in grey. Uh, I'm going to um, give you some tips on how to manage um, your primitives or assets when whenever I'm building. This is how I manage it. This is the way I do it. You may you may do it differently, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, give you some tips on. I actually do it because if you can see here I've got I've got so many primitives well okay not so many but I've got a, I've got a I've got quite a bit especially the where the treads are I've got got a lot of the cylinders on uh, each, each yeah sorry each side so yeah let's get stuck into it so basically what What's been built here is well, um, is a work in progress. Uh, Panzer IV Offs F2. Um, so now you're thinking, okay, like where do I start? Like, what, what, where, where did I start build building it? Well, what I actually did was, uh, I looked at the pictures and I basically started from the front. So basically started with this plate here. So you know, scaled that primitive, um, you know, made it to a good size and the right shape for it, uh, while whilst looking at reference pictures. Then I proceeded to um, to sort of go uh, backwards from the front onwards. So I did this. I did this part here. Then, then I did I did the sides next. Um, so sorry, pardon me. Um, so that basically is that you know I'm just doing the body first and uh, nothing else at the moment. So then I did the back, and then it was basically just uh, filling filling the top in. So then I proceeded to make the treads. Now, when making, you know, the treads and all that, it's going to be, you know, it has to be the right size and you just got to get it lined up perfect, perfectly. So, oh, I'm missing some of these. Okay, I'll replace it. Uh, sorry. Anyway, back to <laughs> back to my my uh, video. Um, so, I basically, what I did first was, I scaled a whole lot of primitives, um, so I scaled uh, the square primitive a lot into a, um, sort of like a big, big rectangle, and then cloned that one, and, and by pressing the 2 key, I um, lifted it up just a, a few meters um, off the other one, and then I and then I did the uh, all the wheels. Um, so, but now here's the interesting thing: instead of actually doing it here, like attaching it on the side, where I actually did it was I actually did it um, here. So away from the tank, basically. So that's allowing me to a um, have enough space to work, and b also scale the um, scale the primitives uh, in the white uh, for the white size. And then I I selected it all. Control C, so that basically allows you to, you know, rotate it, and um, yeah, rotate it, and all that, um, and then attached it to the to the side of the tank. Um, Um, these ones were separate here because, um, yeah, they were put in the side. 
So that's um yeah that's how the treads came to you and then I did the same thing uh, with the other treads. So yeah it's always good to build off to the side of the build you're building and then A you can either glue it so uh, you know you can if you want a more smoother effect when um, moving it over there and or you could do control C which basically does the same thing um, except it's not it's not glued so it's always good to build off to the side see like I did there so so basically I I built um, I think this is a just a placeholder for a spare wheel a spare yeah wheels I'm gonna call them uh, yeah so spare wheels so I built it here based off the images from the internet and then I basically just controlled oh sh uh, what did I do uh, control C there we go basically control C then um, and yeah just lined it up yeah, adjust it a bit and placed it there Okay, uh, sorry about for that interruption. Um, so yeah, um, alright, so back to the view. So, um, now instead of just scaling a whole lot of other primitives, um, sometimes uh, it's actually best that uh, to actually clone clone it, clone the primitive, uh, that's just in case you're going to actually um, use the same primitive more than twice. So as you can see in here, I've got I've got the uh, rectangle that was um, scaled out from the square primitive and then I cloned that and brought it up to here. Now there was on uh, some obvious uh, few gaps so I think I just um, I just cloned one of these ones and then just um, scaled it down to that right size and then adjusted it from there so that saves you a lot of time uh, than just um, having to m make uh, let's say I know have 40 primitives on or or more at a time you know if, if it's all like that basically so you don't clutter up your uh, workspace now if you're doing something like I want them to build a challenges um, yeah it's actually use the space available for your set um, for your build sorry um, because you know you, you haven't made it public yet so and also what I can what I also suggest doing is just do it in um, uh, bits bits by bits so meaning um, <coughs> so bad so meaning you know do the body first then the legs uh, etc see with the space park um, one I'm currently working on. What I did first was I did the legs, then the body, then the neck, then uh, the um, then the head. Still working on those. So um, yeah, as I said, do it bit by bit. And if you're gonna add like um, uh, gameplay props to to it, add them, add them uh, last, just so you know it doesn't 
personally affect um, your build. It's up to you whether you want to um, add them, add them while you're building, or add them while you're not building. So, yeah, that's oh, uh, any what else? Uh, no, I think that's it. So, yeah, um, hopefully, hopefully this this helps you. And yeah, thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching.